One. I love you, Moby. Guys, Lee, Shauna, thank you for your time. No problem. I've been lucky to see this film. I think I saw this film with you both in a a screening a few months ago, end of last year, where nobody knew anything and Mm -hmm. we weren't allowed to say anything till the big film festival. Ah, okay, yes. That's great. And it was hard not to go back to the office and say something and trying to describe the girl we know as yourself, your other characters, in a horror film. Yeah. All the girls in the office love your other stuff. Oh, But they hate horror films. So how are we going to get the girl who likes Mad Mary and the girl from Can't Cope, Won't Cope? Yeah. How are we going to get those fans who might be How terrified? How are we? That's a good question. That is a good question. And I think that's... Strong arm so, them. So sell yeah. it to me here. Um, oh, God. I'm not, I'm not the right one to sell it. But I think um, we, we kind of tackled this piece from a very, like character-driven standpoint so it is a character-driven movie there's going to be some maybe you might be a little scared by like no I think <laughs> come along come see the movie no, I think you're going to be I think you are going to be scared but I think, right, I, yeah. think we, or I think we earned the scares I think you know why I cast Shauna in the role was because of her ability as a performer and I think I hope we've given her a platform to take that to the next level so I think if you're a fan of the work that Sean has done before, you'd be missing out by not going her and watch, watching her in this film. Because, <laughs> you know, we've gone out internationally on a platform and, you know, everyone in Hollywood wants to talk to Shauna, so you really would. That's my pitch, you will be missing out <laughs> to not watch her in the film. <laughs> that, that's a better pitch than my one, maybe. <laughs> but, Shauna, how do you describe the story and how do you explain Sarah and Chris? Um, so this story begins with a mother and her son uh, moving to the countryside to escape and re-establish themselves in, their, in, in, in a new life. And they come across a sinkhole in the woods near the house where they live. And um, after a while, my character Sarah feels that her son isn't who he says he is anymore. And then it's her quest to get her son, to get her son back. It's creepy, so creepy, so beautifully shot, though, at the same time. Mm, I you. found myself in this divided position in the chair going, oh, uh, what's happening next? But also, wow, oh, wow, beautiful, because yeah. I'm not from around here, as you probably can tell, and seeing the pitch, the picturesqueness yeah. that you captured in this, but also the sheer terror. Yeah. Uh, explain how you do that. I think planning, like, it's as obvious an answer as that is. I think it's a lot of it is how you kind of plan it and, and trusting your instinct and in, in what you, you put out there. I knew I wanted the landscape to play a big part. And, like, I'm big on atmosphere and I wanted people to feel... I think isolation, actually, really is what we use the landscape for, mm. is to create this sense of isolation for the characters, that they're very far away, even though there is interactions with a small town and other people, but they have... And Sarah has isolated herself with her son out in this in, in this space, so... I think um, we use the landscapes, I suppose, to enhance the atmosphere and then to unsettle. And then I think once you've unsettled people, then you have the opportunity to actually take it to the next level and try and, you know, use the trickery and the, you know, and, and, and the games to actually take it further and really scare them and move them in their seats. So I think, yeah, the, the, the I suppose the location played a big part in mm. that from the get-go. It's almost it was, like a coaster. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, until the house the, was definitely yeah. a coaster in itself. Yeah. And your other co-star, Chris? Um, yeah, he's amazing, James. <laughs> Uh, he was brilliant to work with. We, we, we continue to say that he was like so professional. Um, and I think when you're working with kids, it's they obviously like never work with children or animals. But he <laughs> you did. Yeah, I did. Um, he's amazing. He was always, you know, really present, really there. And I think he created a good atmosphere for the rest of the set. Because when you're working with a kid, you know, everybody's just that bit more... The, you know, they're, they're mindful of what they say a little more and, you know, the atmosphere is a little lighter because you feel, God, if this kid can come here and work these hours and not give out and he's just happy to be here, <laughs> we should all recognise, oh, yeah, this, you know, this, you know, it's a privilege to get to be here. Yeah, he brought know? a lot of energy, I think. Yeah. Mom, look out! <laughs> Chris, are you all right? Yeah. Don't move. Are you okay? So there's been a small film festival that has said some very nice things, yeah. uh, lots of reviews. So is that, yeah. is that, does that make it better or worse a feeling? Uh, more anticipation now for the actual general release? How are you feeling? It's a cherry on top, I suppose. Or maybe it is the, it is the cake. I'm not so <laughs> sure yet. We're still, we, we're still trying to figure it all out a little bit. Like we were obviously 
very, you know, the build up to Sundance has kind of probably dominated both of our lives in a lot of ways. It's this, you know, Christmas this year was something we didn't really pay a lot of attention <laughs> to because we knew we were going away with the film right after and there's a certain anxiety about how it's going to go down because you're in a very big spotlight there. Even the first screening is like 50% film fans but it's actually 50% industry mm. yeah. and and you know major kind of players that are in the variety room. magazine just a small yeah, like, yeah you know and then you, you find out even at the second screening you've got like I'm not going to you know mention names but some <laughs> like high profile you know uh, you know Hollywood producers in the room you find this out like a week later when they contact you so you, you, you're kind of aware that might happen and it, it I, I don't know how you did but I tried to enjoy the experience as best <laughs> I could but kind of was was clinging on at times as well because it is quite nerve wracking. It's and even yourself. like a day like today, you're afraid that like if you don't enjoy it and embrace it now, it'll be over and then you look back and oh yeah, that experience rather than being within the experience, you know, so just trying to enjoy it as the as it comes along. But um Sundance it did feel like a bit of a whirlwind. It was it was crazy but amazing to be there. Like that Lee's like you know directorial debut went to Sundance and we like an Irish film has gotten that platform and you know it's reaching it's got a wider reach it's just amazing and the things being said about you being you know a superstar out of this is is must be pinch yourself um yeah I think so <laughs> um I think you take those things in and then you like you let them go as well because it's uh you have to live and die by it, you know what I mean? So if you're going to take the good, you got to take the bad. So, um, it's no, but it's amazing that people have responded so well to it. And I just hope that our home audience does as well and uh, people get out and see it in okay. cinemas, you know? Um, and I hope they enjoyed it as much as people stateside seem to have, you know? Yeah, that's the exciting, <laughs> the exciting thing really now is, you know, it is an Irish movie with a distinctly Irish identity, despite the fact that it's played well internationally and has certain, I suppose, international flavours and colours mm -hmm. to it. It is, it's, it's, you know, I'm proud of my heritage. So I'm really excited for mm -hmm. people to sure see it. And, you know, horror can struggle in Ireland at, at times, but I really believe that this is going to be the one that's going to break out and, you know, we're going to get a lot of people in the cinema <laughs> to watch it. Well, we wish you all the best of all. Oh, thanks so much. i got to say, um, Ruth Scott, who works on our radio station as well, she remembers hiring a book from you at the Inchicore Library only a couple of years ago. Um, yeah, that's not so long ago that So I, it's a yeah. long way from Inchicore Library to... Not uh, too long away, not too long away. <laughs> I can still be found in Inchicore <laughs> Library. Yeah, well, to be well read. Yeah, that's it. Good luck with it all. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers.